Hi everyone, it's Melissa and I'm excited to join you and tell you a little bit more about the Organza Bonanza deal we have going on lately. So we have been playing with Organza at Anita with a lot of different collections and I'm here to show you guys some fun ways you can combine those different layers and create unique effects in your quilt blocks. So let's take a look at our first example. For the first example, I wanted to show you guys this quilt block from our stained glass bouquet collection. The beautiful flowers are created with layers of applique organza to create their saturated effect. What I wanted to share with you guys is the beautiful effects you can create by using multiple layers of organza. When you use one piece of organza, you'll get a much more sheer and light shade for elements such as leaves and small pieces on the outside of the block. When you add two layers of organza, you start to get more color and more saturation within the tones of the flowers and elements you choose to place it within, like we did here. For the most color in the center of our block, we use three to even four layers of organza to create much more bright and vivid tones. The layers and how many you use are entirely up to you. Similar to the first block I just showed you guys, you can create different color combinations using different organzas as well. So in my first block, I used all that bright indigo royal blue color. If you change it up to different shades of blue though, you can create different effects as well. So let's take a look at some of those. Similar to how we did dark tones in our original block, for this variation, I wanted it to be a little bit lighter. So instead of using all the dark blue, I grabbed some various shades of the blues that I had on hand, including this nice bright turquoise teal, and when you layer them with the different shades of dark blue, you'll get new combinations of colors you can use throughout your block. So whether you use one layer to two, or even if you take one and double it up, you'll get that color that you're looking for. Lastly, I wanted to show you guys another option of using various different colors. So instead of sticking to just one tone or various shades of a tone, we can add bright pops of bold colors throughout your block by using different shades of organza. So let's look at those. For my last example, you can see lots of beautiful colors shown throughout the stained glass effect here. We have different shades of green, as well as different shades of pink and orange. To create these, we use some of the primary colors that we had on hand, like the yellow, some pink, we did some orange, and you get vibrant colors as you combine those as well. And you can even mix warm and cool to create new shades here too. Lastly, I wanted to point out that you can change the color of your satin stitches for a different desired effect. In our original, we used black thread, but in this one, we actually chose a more charcoal color, so the combinations are not quite as stark. The creative freedom is up to you, so feel free to layer your organza however you see fit. And that's all the fun tips I have for you guys today on how you can take your organza and create a whole new project to make it entirely your own. I hope you guys enjoyed this organza bonanza, and stay tuned for more.